Okay, so um, I think you were right with uh, it wasn't uh, um, it's your geometry selection, and I'm not quite sure of uh, yeah. I'm not going to necessarily show you um, the best way to do this right now. So, like, if you look at your geometry selection, you've selected vertical surfaces for on your machine setup this so cutting down this so I think it's just getting confused with all of these in here and everything um, it likes 2d geometry the uh, the features can uh, the 2d geometry can actually be grabbed from if you select a surface but like for instance if I select this surface here it will let's select it and then we'll look at what it looks like in there. It just gets the outline of that surface as if you projected it. That's That can work pretty good. But that's not going to work good with a bunch of vertical surfaces because it's trying to grab everything, the circles in the middle and everything. So I think it's just confused. So one way you could fix that uh, quickly is to just start off by picking. You can pick just the edges, yeah? while you're while you're picking it too so you can force the pick of the 2d geometry um, and really what I'm gonna just show you this really quick just to just to show illustrate how it works and uh, in the end though what I'm gonna do is say you can go to Al's uh, YouTube page and he'll actually he's already already made a bunch of uh, videos that demonstrate pretty good how to grab the 2d geometry you want you know um, Get rid of that one. Make sure I didn't pick anything funny. It looks like I got that one in one of those back picks. And uh, let's see. Let's say OK on that pick. And let's look at my geometry by going to edit. And I can look. Looks like I have something way over there that I missed. So let's cancel that again or see. look at the geometry oh there's that right there reselect I'll deselect that one just to make one cool so basically essentially what I did is I'm just profiling right around to there now you wanted to keep going you could keep going but um let's do that now I'm gonna unblank the toolpaths again and then I'm gonna compute all the toolpaths and then uh, now I have the profile that just goes um, right around the outside like you wanted so I think selecting vertical surfaces for the 2d one isn't really gonna work um, you can if you really wanted to go around the entire part then you could select uh, you know uh, go ahead and go to Al's uh, website and you can see things you know he's gonna do He's going to do something like he's going to show you how to create a couple of layers. You're going to go to your utilities, extract edges from solid, you know, and you go like that. And then uh, he's, you blank your solid and then go in and show you how to grab the edges, you know, get rid of all the stuff that you don't need and grab just the edges that you need to uh, do the 2D profiling on the top. You know, it's um, I'm not going to do too much of that right now, but with so many broken edges on that model I think you're gonna be best served by uh, by just going around and selecting the edge you want uh, and stopping it like that okay so I hope that answers your question about what went wrong for the 2d features um, selecting vertical surfaces is a no-no it's gonna be looking you wanna basically look at it um, like uh, let's see control one I think is the top so you want to look at it like this and uh, that's that's the profiles you want to get is just that single outer line nothing underneath